Bridges have been around for centuries. They help us get over rivers, canyons and rough patches of land. Nowadays, they're everywhere in cities, making our lives easier. From simple beginnings, bridges have turned into some of the coolest feats of engineering we've ever seen. Today at Ultimate Mega Builds, we look at some of the longest and the most dangerous bridges in the world. Stick till the end for the longest bridge in the world. We start with the Ikitsuki Bridge. It's a truss bridge in Nagasaki Prefecture, Japan. It connects the island of Ikitsuki to its biggest neighbor, Hirado. Built in 1991, this 40 meter or 1,312 foot steel bridge stands strong thanks to its network of steel beams. These beams form triangular shapes called trusses, which handle the stress from the weight of things like cars and trucks driving over. Truss bridges are some of the oldest types of modern bridges and are super popular because they can hold a lot of weight without using too much material. Next on our list is the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. It's a massive structure along Florida's coast that spans the mouth of Tampa Bay. It stretches around 7 kilometers and offers stunning views of the Gulf of Mexico. The bridge provides a smooth commute between Teresea and St. Petersburg. But behind its sunny name lies a dark history. This is actually the second Sunshine Skyway Bridge. The original, built in the 1950s, was the longest bridge in America at the time. However, tragedy struck on a stormy morning in May 1980. A massive freighter, the MV Summit Venture, lost control in rough conditions and slammed into the bridge, causing a section to collapse into the water. Eight vehicles, including a bus full of passengers, plummeted into the ocean. The original bridge was subsequently demolished and replaced by a newer, safer version. Defensive bumpers were installed in the water to protect against future collisions, and these bumpers quickly proved their worth. The day before the new bridge opened, a shrimping vessel crashed into a bumper. It sank the ship, but left the bridge unscathed. Now let's talk about the Pont de Québec, or Quebec Bridge in Canada. This steel giant holds the record for the world's longest cantilever bridge with a main span of 549 meters or 1,801 feet. Completed in 1917, its path to completion was anything but smooth. It faced tragic collapses during its construction. The first collapse in 1907, which happened four years into construction, was due to incorrect calculations about the bridge's weight and load capacity. The southern and central spans gave way and fell into the St. Lawrence River, tragically taking 75 workers with them. A redesigned version of the bridge began construction in 1913. It featured an even longer central span. This time, three engineers, including one who had worked on Scotland's fourth bridge, supervised the project. Despite their expertise, disaster struck again in 1916 when a hydraulic mechanism failed during the hoisting of the central span, leading to another collapse that claimed 13 more lives. The remnants of this collapse still rest at the bottom of the St. Lawrence River. Finally, in 1917, after nearly two decades of setbacks, the Quebec Bridge was completed and briefly held the title of the world's longest bridge. Though it no longer holds that title, it remains the longest cantilever bridge in the world to this day. Next, we have the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. It is often dubbed the Bridge of Blood and Tears. From an engineering perspective, it's considered the longest sea bridge in the world. It stretches 55 kilometers, linking three Pearl Bay cities of Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau. However, this impressive structure is steeped in controversy. Construction of the bridge was plagued by dangerous conditions. It led to the deaths of almost 20 workers, in 2017, the project faced a massive scandal when it was revealed that Jacobs China Limited, the company providing the project's concrete, falsified safety test results instead of conducting proper checks. Civil engineers have also raised serious concerns about the bridge's sea defences, which are supposed to protect it from powerful waves. They claim these defences aren't up to the task, though the Hong Kong government has denied these allegations. Despite these reassurances, doubts about the bridge's safety continue to linger. Now let's get into the world of the oldest type of bridges, 
arch bridges. These bridges have evolved from the early stone arches used by the Greeks and Romans to the modern steel giants of today. The Chao Tiamen Bridge in China stands out as the longest arch bridge in the world with a central span of 552 meters or 1,811 feet. Completed in 2009, this road and rail bridge towers 142 meters above the Yangtze River and stretches a total of 1,741 meters or 5,712 feet. Despite their varied appearances, all arch bridges share the same basic principle. They distribute loads from the center of the structure outward into supports at either end, whether through foundations, pylons like the Sydney Harbour Bridge, or directly into the earth, as with the Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge in the United States. Moving on to the Rusky Bridge in Vladivostok, it has a main span of 1,104 meters or 3,622 feet and was built to connect Rusky Island to the Russian mainland for the 2012 APEC summit. Its total length exceeds 3,100 meters or 10,200 feet, and it features some of the tallest pylons of any bridge, reaching 312 meters or 1,053 feet into the air. It's taller than New York's Chrysler Building. From these giant towers, 168 cables, some up to 580 meters long, stretch out to support the four-lane roadway below. Despite its impressive engineering and a construction cost of approximately $1.1 billion, the bridge's daily capacity is 50,000 cars. It contrasts with the small population of just over 5,000 on Rusky Island, leading many to view it as a useless project. The crown for the world's longest suspension bridge goes to the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge in Kobe, Japan. It's nearly 2 kilometers, 1,991 meters, or 6,532 feet to be exact. Constructed between 1988 and 1998, the bridge was designed to tackle several tough challenges. Positioned over the Akashi Strait, a busy and storm-prone shipping lane, the bridge needed to minimize supports that could obstruct ships. It sits in one of the most earthquake-prone areas on the planet, the Pacific Ring of Fire. Engineers crafted a bridge that could span this immense distance while also being flexible enough to withstand seismic activity without significant damage. The roadway hangs from vertical suspension cables connected to main cables strung between two towering supports. These cables are securely anchored into the bedrock at each end. Interestingly, the bridge was initially designed to have a main span of 1,990 meters. However, the 1995 Kobe earthquake, which measured 7.2 on the Richter scale, caused the towers to shift apart by one meter, or three feet. This forced engineers to add an extra meter to the roadway during construction. The bridge also has a special system with double hinges and weight dampers in its towers. This helps it handle winds up to 286 kilometers per hour, or 178 miles per hour, and earthquakes up to 8.5 on the Richter scale. Built for $3.6 billion, the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge is still one of the most costly and amazing bridges ever built. Finally, we have the longest bridge in the world. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, part of the Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway, is listed in the Guinness Book of Records with a length of almost 165 kilometers. But only 9 kilometers stretch over water. The bridge is located in eastern China between the cities of Nanjing and Shanghai. Its construction began in 2008. The project was massive. It involved over 10,000 workers and enormous amounts of building materials, 2.5 million cubic meters of concrete and 500,000 tons of steel. The bridge was completed and operational by the summer of 2011, costing the Chinese government a hefty $10 billion. Well, that's all we have for today. If you enjoyed this rundown and want more fascinating content and construction insights, don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. We'll be back soon with another exciting video.